Welcome back everybody to Desktop Inventions. Happy Mother's Day out there to all the grandmothers and mothers out there. And for all the sons and daughters out there, go 3D print to your mother something special. If they're not into that sort of thing, flowers are always a good option. So let's get into uh, other topics this week. So I launched a Patreon last week. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I just posted some new 3D models there, some free models and also some member exclusive models. So if you check that out, I always appreciate the support. So the news video might be a little shorter this week. I've got some business travel on Sunday, so I'm not gonna have as much time to put on the video. So this week we've got a few topics. We've got Eufy Make in their uh, Kickstarter launch. We've got seawalls, um, 3D printed seawalls, which is pretty cool to see. And then we'll have Time Plast. So we talked about them the other week, but we're going to dive in a little more at some of their other products and take a look. So with that being said, let's dive right in. So first up, let's talk about Eufy Make. They've launched a super successful Kickstarter campaign. This thing has had $5 million in the first one hour. It's had $11 million pledged in the first 24 hours. And now it's up to $19 million of their $500,000 goal. So they're only at 3,800% of their goal. And I think this is a little bit questionable of what is Kickstarter intended for. In my opinion, it's intended for smaller companies that need a boost or a kickstart to start and launch a product. So Eufy Make, uh, part of the Anchor Group, has a lot of money. Obviously, they're putting advertisements everywhere. So in my opinion, it's a, a little shady that they're using Kickstarter to get this much money when they're spending so much money on advertising already. But that being said, there's no doubt this product is super viral right now. It's going around everywhere. So let's go take a look at their Kickstarter page and see what's new on it. So on the Kickstarter page here, you can see you can get the early bird price at $16.99 instead of the $24.99, which is what the price will be upon launch. And then it's nice this day and age, they said free shipping and customs fee and VAT is covered, so no surprise tariff. I did see here in the fine print, it says free shipping only to the United States, Canada and EU countries, the United Kingdom and Hong Kong. So if you're outside of those countries, you'll probably have to cover the shipping. And then they had some really cool animations of how this dispensing technology is working to create uh, 3D structures based off of these little droplets that are deposited on the build material. So yeah, it's not a 2D printer, it's not a 3D printer, it's something in between those and there is a lot of hype for it. So we'll keep an eye on this as they're estimating deliveries to start as soon as July 2025. Okay, diving into the next topic here, we have Kind Designs has raised an additional $5 million in their latest fund funding round to 3D print seawalls. So what are seawalls? Well, let's take a look at that. So seawalls are onshore structures with the principal function of preventing uh, too much water coming onto land and causing massive flooding during storm uh, surges and large waves. So seawalls are often built in parallel to the shoreline to prevent uh, massive flooding in areas that are susceptible to this. So what is Kind Designs doing that's different? Well, with their 3D printed seawalls that they're making in-house in their factory, fabricating those, they're claiming to be about 20 times faster to manufacture these than traditional construction processes. That tends to be a recurring theme we hear with 3D printed construction. I really think 3D printed construction is going to have a bright place in the future. So this is being reported by TCT Magazine. Um, kind Design has just moved into a new 50,000 foot facility in Miami and expanded its team to 10 employees and three robots. And now they've installed their first 3D printed seawall in Miami Beach. So these guys aren't all just talk, they've already brought in over $600,000 of revenue winning two government contracts in Florida. I think these guys are on a really good starting pace. So we're seeing, so we're seeing some of the similar advantages with 3D printed construction. They will 3D print in factory massive slabs of these seawalls and those will be transported onto site and then they'll take a crane, pick and install those very quickly since they're prefabricated construction. Since they are 3D printed, they can build in extra features that maybe you wouldn't see in typical concrete construction. So while I'm no expert in seawalls, I think it's really exciting to see Kind Designs winning some contracts and getting 3D printing out there into the open world. So let's keep rooting them on. Okay, finally, let's talk about Time Plast. So we talked about them a little bit last week in their 3D printed soap filament. But after checking out their website, they have a ton of options of awesome 3D printed filaments that I think we should take a little closer look at. So let's take a look at Time Plast website here. Looks like they're headquartered out of Longwood, Florida. So what has Time Plast invented? 
So it looks like their advantage here is the chemical makeup of their 3D printing filament with 70% of its mass being water. So it's not just water soluble, it has water as one of the core elements and it enables 4D properties where it evolves and degrades without leaving microplastics behind. And on their website here, we can see they have seven patents of their core intellectual property starting from 2014 and then ramping up 2020, 21, and 23. And a lot of this is with the chemical makeup and design of their 3D printing filament. If we go on their website here, we see they've got a ton of different 3D printing filament SKUs. And if we click to buy one of these, we can go down here and check out the user manual. So in this user manual, there's a lot of great information in here. So here's an explanation of why they call this the 4D filament. With time mass, you'll be embedding the dimension of time into your three-dimensional parts. So time being that fourth dimension. So here's some of their high-level features. No toxic fumes. Prints two times faster than regular TPU. Um, Eco-friendly packaging, 100% recyclable. Made in the USA. That's awesome. Here we have Fire Gen 2. So it looks like it's highly controllable combustible and leaving minimal residue, controlled burn rates. So what can you print? 3D printed candle, fireworks and pyrotechnics. That sounds cool. Maybe like a fuse or something. Emergency and survival gear, art and entertainment, waste reduction. So here we've got a picture of a Benchy, of course, a flaming Benchy as a candle. That's uh, pretty creative. So then they have a bunch of the printing parameters down here to get you started. So here they have the active filament. This is the one that dissolves in a matter of minutes to hours. So what do they suggest to print with this? Sustainable packaging, medical dissolvable implants. That makes sense. Construction and temporary structures, uh, maybe. So here's their time mass flex, the TPU-like flexible filament. So beach wearables, biodegradable medical devices, smart packaging, dynamic molds, so flexible molds that can be later dissolved for seamless extraction of complex shapes. That one might have some good merit to it. So here's the time mass fiber. Looks like this one prints out like a normal 3D printing filament initially, but then after some time, there's this sacrificial layer that dissolves away and the filament kind of splays out into these separate fibers. Um, that might be interesting to think about what applications that could make. Maybe some 3D printed fabric or shirts. So they have fashion, medical, robotics, eco-friendly textiles. And they have this NASA space fabric type uh, print here. So this one's interesting. We have the light filament, the illumination filament. Sounds like this works like an optical fiber, but as you shine light through it, it diffuses and scatters throughout the entire volume. So if you put a flashlight behind it, it should uh, light up and glow like we're seeing here. It would be interesting to try printing some lithophanes with this material, but it might diffuse too much and actually ruin the effect. But I'm sure we could find some cool applications for this. So this is cool, time mass metal surface. So after 3D printing this, you're supposed to dip it into water with fine metal powders and after dipping it into water with these metal powders it will somehow absorb in um, the iron copper brass filings and interlock into its surface and as the print dries this metal element locks into place creating a high density conductive and slightly ferromagnetic finish. So we can get some of the benefits of 3D printing a metal object without ever needing a metal 3D printer. So we have time mass microwave, and this one's a little bit confusing. So when it's exposed to microwaves or some type of electromagnetic uh, waves, it will deform. It will have movement, deformation, or expansion of the 3D printed object. So maybe like a moving filament. If we scroll down here, so we have transforming sculptures and kinetic art pieces. So it looks like they 3D printed a woman's face here and oh wow, she turns basically into a zombie. That's a little, a little strange. So I wonder once they take the radiation off of this sculpture, if it will return back to the original shape. That would be uh, pretty interesting. Okay, so this is something I've always been interested in. Glow in the dark filament. So it looks like here with the stick and glow, they have some filament that can glow in the dark. So with this, they're recommending things for nighttime safety, like glowing paths in the hallway or a nightlight next to your child's bed. Uh, hopefully it doesn't give off radiation. I'm sure it's fine and safe. But yeah, look at that glow. That is pretty awesome right there. Ooh, 
Ooh, Thai mass plant vitamin. This sounds really interesting. So with this 3D printed uh, filament here, it gives some type of vitamins to plants. So it has essential elements to help your plants grow better over time. It's got carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. So like some plant super fuel or some growth hormone. So this would be really interesting. You can make some pretty creative designs to stick into your flower planter that look nice and then also help to promote your plant growth. So that was a look at just a few of the 3D printing filaments on their website. They've got so many great ideas on things to do with 3D printing that I never would have imagined is possible. So there we go. If you're sick and tired of printing the same old fidgets over and over again, go get some time class material and really uh, stretch your brain to print something creative and different. Okay, that's it for the main news topics this week. So let's go over and take a look at the Thingiverse and Printables Prints of the Week. Okay, and for the printables print of the week, we have this stretching cap model here by Sank. And on this one, it was just a one color model. And then I went into Bamboo Handy and I actually painstakingly by hand tried to draw all the cat stripes to have it look like uh, more like my cat. So that was my first time to try this and I, I was very interested to see how this would turn out. Um, and, and I think it, it followed uh, the way I drew it pretty well. I probably should have used a little bit smaller layers. There's a few spots on the top here where it didn't, uh, the resolution's not super great. But overall, I'm impressed at how it's able to just switch back and forth uh, the colors of the filament to exactly match how I drew it. And it did turn out to be really cute. But the challenging thing with multicolor prints, we have the actual print that came out here. Then we have the support material that I had to t get rid of. And we have the purge block here, which is used to purge the printing head between every layer. And then we have all the poop. So to print this one part, we had to waste a massive amount of material, which is one thing I'm not super impressed with uh, at this point with multicolor printing. Again, if I were to print off 30 of these, I would have a similar amount of waste, but I don't need to print out 30 of these. So I think that's one of the current challenges with multicolor printing, and hopefully that gets better and improved in the coming years. Okay, and the next print of the week here, this is from Thingiverse, and this is made by Eternity Labs. This is the Infinity Gyro Spinning Circle. So this is a print in place model, and I haven't broken it loose yet. So we're going to uh, break it loose live here on camera and see how it, how it works. So there's the first circle. And the second one goes like this, and the third one, fourth, and fifth. Surprise, they, they spin very smoothly. There's no catching. It's all a very smooth uh, spinning motion. So you have five different layers of spinning in multiple directions. So this is uh, all sorts of cool configurations you can make with this guy. So yeah, this is the Infinity Gyro Spinning Circle by Eternity Labs. And that's it for this week's print of the week. So make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me which one of these is your favorite. Okay, that's it for this week's news video. Sorry it's a little bit short this week. Um, if you haven't already, check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. And if you have any comments or suggestions how to improve this weekly news video, let me know. I'm all ears and I read all your comments. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time at Desktop Inventions.